Hello, today we are going to learn how to read the treble clef staff. First of all, we need to know what a staff means. A staff looks like this. It has five lines. Next, we need to know what a treble clef is. This is a treble clef. It is also called the G clef as it wraps around the G line on the musical staff. Here is a picture of what it looks like when you combine the treble clef and the musical staff. This will always be called a treble clef staff. The next thing that you will need to know to read the treble clef staff is the musical alphabet. The musical alphabet, which you see here, starts like the regular alphabet with the letter A, moves on to B, C, D, E, F, and then G. However, now it repeats. This can be represented if we put the letters in a clock formation, starting with the letter A and moving in a clockwise direction. We can go to letter B, C, D, E, F, G. Then we will start again with the letter A and then B, C, D, E, F, and G, and then so on. Now you are ready to start reading the notes of the treble clef staff. We will start with the bottom line. A bottom line note looks like this, and that note will always be E. When played, it sounds like this. Following our clockwise pattern of the musical alphabet, we can see that the next note is going to be F. The F note sits on the bottom space in the treble clef staff. The open space F sounds like this. Next, we will go up to the second line in the treble clef staff. Again, following our clockwise pattern, you can see that that note will be G. The G note sits on the second line in the treble clef staff and sounds like this. We will move on to the next letter, which if we follow our pattern, again, we will get A. A sits in the second space on the treble clef staff and when played, sounds like this. Moving on, you will see that the next letter that we have is B. B sits on the middle line of the treble clef staff. It sounds like this. The next letter following our pattern is C. C sits on the third space in the treble clef staff and sounds like this. Still following our pattern, you can see that the next letter we have is D. D sits on the fourth line in the treble clef staff and sounds like this. Now, because you're so smart, you will have noticed that as we follow our pattern, we are going to start over with the letter E. And that's exactly right. This time, our E sits on the top space of the treble clef staff. It sounds like this. The final note that we will learn how to read on the treble clef staff, following our pattern of course, is F. This time, F will sit on the very top line in the treble clef staff, and it sounds like this. Finally, we will look at all of the notes on the treble clef staff together. You can see that we start at E, just like we did in our lesson. That also starts here on our clockwise directional picture. If we start at E and we follow our clockwise direction, you will see that we get F, G, A, B, C, D, E, and F. And those are all of the notes that you learned today. You did awesome. I'm so glad that you joined me today 
for our lesson on how to read the treble clef staff.